Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to Seal Mod Type Run of EV Emerald. Last time, honestly, was largely filler. Optional content. So, our objective this time is to throw up the Team Magma Hideout. First things first, let's pop a repel. Because there's wild Pokemon here, and they'll get in the way if we don't. We're going to start off with Aces High in the lead, because, well, Team Magma uses a lot of ground types. So, Magneton's not going to be of much use against them. Yes, it knows Try Attack now. Learned that in the last move. But, well, episode, rather. But, overall, it's not very useful. Because it's a physical attack in this generation, and Magneton is primarily a special attacker. Spoilers! It's Groudon! Now, does he actually tell you? I don't know. Eh. Who cares? Another grunt will actually tell you if you run into him anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah, we go down here. No, I don't, but I don't expect you to be much of an obstacle either. Also, interestingly, now you would think that being more influenced by, you know, wanting to expand land and industry and development, that Team Magma would be the high-tech faction with the high-tech base, but no. That, that's Team Aqua. Here, they just hide out in, basically, in the open, in the wilderness. Which... Again, as I'd mentioned in an earlier episode, they're supposed to be based on ninjas, so I guess that makes sense. And it's also consistent with their portrayal in the Pokemon Adventures manga. Where Team Magma is basically... Well, they're the underdogs, and Maxi is only nominally in control, with Tabitha and Courtney having a lot of autonomy. Yamako, on the other hand, is very highly regimented, and, well, they have a lot of resources and good publicity because Archie, as it turns out, owns the main media company in the Hoenn region. So yeah, even in Pokemon's universe, journalists are evil bastards. Of course, ironically, then the remakes come out, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and give them the exact opposite characterizations. Make up your mind, Game Freak. I get that Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are supposed to be an alternate timeline, but come on. Be at least a little consistent. Also, Tabitha's appearance, funnily enough, changes yet again in the manga compared to either portrayal in the game. It seems nobody can make up their mind on how he's supposed to look. We'll take on the other one real quick. As of course, after you clear out the hideout, you can't battle them again. So, might as well get the experience and the cash. So close. It's a good thing they never seem to use fire type attacks with their new molar or camera up if the case applies. I wonder, is Maxi going to be as stupid this time around? Oh, by the way, metal sounds kind of hilarious. Because uh yeah, Skarmori learns it. But here's the catch. 
it can't learn any special attacks in this generation. At all. So Metal Sound is completely useless except in double battles. Unless you want to use it for a contest combo, but that's another story. Mutter? Really? That's what you're gonna say? Was he saying mother but with an accent? Because who just randomly says mutter? Or is he or is he trying to call me a motherfucker? I don't know. Just following orders, huh? Yeah, tell it to the judge, lady. Didn't work at Nuremberg. And if you're wondering about why I'm coughing so much, that's, as I think I'd mentioned in an earlier episode, it's just allergies. I think it's the cedar trees in the area. Not quite enough to knock yourself out, unfortunately. That's why I has try attack so I can deal with ground types. <clears throat> and over here, we have a full restore. Going back the other way now. First of all, let's use this repel. Go up here. There's another couple of trainers and another item. Ah! He almost spilled the beans! Of course, I doubt it's Groudon, unless it's really restless sleeper. Who knows? Could be. Yep, it was that dipshit. <clears throat> I'm not. If your leader's intelligence is any indicator, I'm surprised the grunts even remember to breathe without being reminded. Going back this way now. And this takes us up here. Hmm. Early bird gets the worm. candy. Now we're back out here again. We'll continue on our way down. Mm. Oh, got something. What'd you get? Ooh, rare candy. I think that brings you up to 11 now, if you do the ones in the PC. Good shit. Anyway, I feel really bad for this guy. Hey, next time you should probably be late on purpose, then you'll be back where the other guy is. Yeah, it's boring, but you're not gonna 
burn to death or anything next to a lava pit. Remember to hydrate. Heat stroke sucks. Anyways, there's this room here. And you get a PowerPoint Max. There's only a couple of these in the overworld that I'm aware of. This is one of them. Hmm. Imagine that. The one Team Magma Grunt with a conscience. And yet you're still following their orders. So are you really any better? Hmm. Clear body. Sucks to be you. Of course, it might just use Roar anyway, because you love to waste your time. Hmm. That's if you see him again. No one, huh? Well, it's the first time for everything. over here, and we get a nugget. I'm getting close to the end of the route here, and this is the first guy that brings a grout on. Of course, if you were playing this back in 2005 and it was your first Pokemon game, you might have been thinking, what in the Cinnamon Toast fuck is a Groudon? You'll find out very shortly. <clears throat> but of course, most people that played Emerald Version had also played Ruby or Sapphire, so they already knew. <clears throat> Remember, loose lips sink ships. Here's a double battle. You know what? Let's organize this a little better. And you go. And now we have our battle with Tabitha. Of course. As I had mentioned last time we faced this guy, Courtney actually doesn't show up at all in Emerald version. It's always Tabitha every time you encounter Team Magma.
<laughs> Sucks to be you. Okay, I probably should use Metal Claw. Whatever. You would. You would. Sucks to be you. You only delay the inevitable. Oh. Well. Yeah. I think it's time for a change. Well, it was more useful than using magnitude, I guess. Tabitha. Tabitha, your Pokemon knows fire type attacks, you know. <sighs> Again, considering how max he is, I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, I just feel bad. I feel like I'm picking on a developmentally challenged kid. But not enough to make me stop, of course. After all, Fucking up the world's ecosystem. I'm sorry, I don't care what excuse you have. That's a bit extreme. Alright, we gonna stick with... Well, actually, first let's see what Striper picked up. Escape rope. Useless. Sucks to be you, Maxi. You're giving me way too much credit, Maxi. Now let's see if you learned anything from the last time. Down you go. You know, I was really tempted to just switch to Skarmori to see if, you know, he does the same stupid shit that he did last time, but... Nah. I don't think it would make a difference at this point. And there goes camera up. So far, not impressed. And there goes Crobat. I don't know, maybe it's the fact that I don't eat rocks, unlike you. Okay. You know what, we'll use the PowerPoint Max. And here's another escape rope, which we could use to leave. In fact, I think we will. Yeah. And we reappear here. I think this is what we're going to call it this time. Like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page. Next time, 
well, we're going to be revisiting some familiar grounds and some not-so-familiar grounds. See you next time.